What's up, guys? Welcome back to Audio Freak. This is going to be my review of the Presonus Eureka channel strip that has been modified with the Jensen Transformer and the LT1357 op amp chips, as well as a capacitor upgrade. So the Presonus Eureka was released in 2004, and it's a very usable channel strip. It's great, especially nowadays when you can get it on eBay or Reverb.com for $150 to $250. It's packed with features. The Eureka is outfitted with an impedance selector that changes the color of the preamp or your microphone. It has a negative 20 decibel pad, 80 hertz roll off, and a um, polarity switch phase switch. It also comes with a saturation knob, which uh, adds even harmonics to your signal. I don't really use it much. I like a clean signal. So I find the preamp to be pretty clean and it's got a great low end um, due to the Jensen transformer modification that I added in and the capacitor modification. I changed the 47 microfarads to 470 microfarads and I find that the transient detail has improved when I switched the stock op amp chips to the LT1357 op amp chips and they're pretty affordable. They're like I think $5 a piece. And it's literally like a five minute install because the original stock um, op amp chips are socketed. All you have to do is turn it off, unscrew it, take out the old ones, uh, put in the new ones, and that's it. And as far as the Jensen transformer goes, I think it adds some great um, low end information to the signal. I mostly use it for voiceovers and singing or rapping and um, it sounds great. I don't really use the high Z input on the front, the instrument input. I use the uh, microphone, uh, the preamp section. And another thing I'd like to add about this channel strip is my favorite part, which is the compressor. The compressor is fitted with a That 4301 VCA style compressor. It's very musical. It sounds great. It's good for taming your vocals before it goes into your interface or your DAW or whatever. It's got a side chain high pass filter as well as a soft knee. And it sounds great. Next is the EQ section. The EQ has three bands. It's a parametric equalizer. It's pretty useful. I don't use it too much unless I have to tame some resonances or harsh frequencies or whatever. Um, but 90% of the time, I don't even use it. I put it in bypass. The most things that I use are the preamp and the compressor, which sounds fantastic. I recorded this whole thing using uh, a custom microphone that I built using a... Uh, uh, MPV57 PCB kit from microphoneparts.com and a K87 style capsule that I bought from WGT Center um, for around like 50 bucks or something like that. And um, it's going straight into the Eureka. And uh, uh, I'm only using the compressor and the um, equalizer is bypassed. So yeah, this whole thing was recorded on that going straight into my RME Babyface Pro. And yeah, hope you guys like the review. Thanks for watching.